Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for Monday, January 25th, 2020. Well, my goodness, we had quite a week last week with a little bit of back and forth, kind of ending the week with a little bit of a down note. And now this morning, we are seeing futures kind of popping all over the place. So what does that mean for today and maybe this week? Well, how about we settle in? Let's take a look at the technicals and all the data coming our way. Buckle up and get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. You know, this morning, guys, we have an interesting market situation where we're going to just get a deluge of data. And anything is absolutely possible uh, this week with so much data coming our way. But first, let's take a look at these technicals and then we'll kind of dive into some of those data issues that could affect us. But let's take a peek here and see what we have going on. Well, if we look at our technicals here in the chart, if we look at trend first, trend is certainly bullish. And although we pulled back here in the Dow last week just a little bit, we didn't really hurt anything technically. You can see it might have been a, it might have felt a little bit punishing with the big gap down that we had on Monday, but those bulls did a pretty good job of defending. And at the end of the day, we ended up holding support overall. So what I want to point out is that we're in this rather wide range choppy consolidation and we can't rule out the possibility that that could continue all the way over here to trend. Now the thing that could push us out of this is a huge round of earnings this week. We have a lot of the big tech giants reporting this week. We have a bunch of data coming our way. So it is entirely possible that we could find enough energy in here to push on through and break out to new highs. But one of the things I want to point out here is we, we actually run a considerable risk as well of that push down and breaking that trend should those earnings disappoint. Now, I can't tell you whether or not earnings will be good or bad. I think um, everyone is kind of leaning to the good and hoping that things remain positive. But one, things I, one thing I want to remind everyone of is we have our p and e ratios are very very stretched at the moment and even though our economy is struggling with the coronavirus we have pushed these companies and really stretched them to the upside the challenge for business um, this quarter is producing enough earnings results that prove that they can support these prices and that could be kind of an interesting thing so can they do that? Possibly so, and we could perk right up and start heading on to the upside. But let's keep in mind how closely we are to that possibility of breaking that uh, trend to the upside. And one of the things we're going to have to be ready and prepared for this week is likely some wild price volatility. We could see big opening gaps. That's one of the things that's challenging um, when so many of the big techs and uh, a lot of the giant companies report after the bell. We could end up with um, a very, very bullet round of uh, bullish reports and we could gap up in the morning. We could see substantial gap ups and runs. We could also see those substantial gap downs and moves. So we're going to have to stay pretty focused and flexible. We're gonna to have to really stay on our toes this week because it's hard to know what's going to happen in all of this data. We could have overnight reversals. We could have big gaps at the morning. So be prepared for just about anything and make sure you're protecting yourself and your capital, not over trading a market with so much data on the way. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now, SPY held up much, much better than the Dow did um, on Friday. And as you can see, even though we had pushed down some, we held up very, very well and we held above this price support in the chart. Once again, I want to point out that possibility that what we might be doing in here is we might be just consolidating in a zone over toward that trend. But with all of this earnings data, we have that potential that we could get pushed to the upside or the downside really easily. So watch that closely. Now, keep in mind, 
we have a nice little price support in here, but we're setting close to that as it is. If that were to fail, that would mean a fairly substantial pullback could occur if that were to fail, pushing down to that next level of support. We'll have to wait and see. But as we as we kind of are set up toward um, all of these earnings this week, we're kind of in a, a wait and see place, right? We're kind of sitting in this consolidation where we could pop and go either direction. So make sure you're prepared for that possibility. Keep your eyes open, stay very, very flexible. If we take a look at the NASDAQ, now the NASDAQ was the big winner last week, um, moving up strongly. And we had a big, big push in the giant techs, Amazon, Apple, um, um, Google, they all did really, really well last week, pushing back up. And remember, a lot of these big giant techs also face a rough year of lawsuits and um, antitrust. So they have that going as well as we head into these this big earnings week where a lot of those folks are going to be reporting. And we'll want to keep an eye on this closely. So we're very, very extended here in this chart. And the reason that has me concerned is our P&E ratios are also very, very extended. And it's going to be interesting to find out whether or not um, all of these companies can actually support these prices. And perhaps they can. Perhaps there's been enough stimulus, enough spending into those uh, tech devices that they hold up just fine. But we'll want to watch that pretty closely as they report. So keep in mind, if we do pull back, we have plenty of room for a pullback into support and trend here on that chart on the NASDAQ. But just keep in mind, these can move pretty dramatically as well, both up and down. So stay on your toes. And then we have IWM. Now IWM ran into a little bit of a challenge last week. Um, toward the end of the week, we started to see energy prices faltering just a little tiny bit. And even though we had a um, round of big bank earnings that seemed to come off very, very well um, in those reports, we saw a little bit of pulling back on those banks after that earnings report. So we ran into just a little bit of a challenge here in IWM. Now IWM has just been zooming to the upside, uh, being supported by, by financials and um, energy prices. And it's gonna be interesting to see if they falter just a little bit here um, as we, as we head into all these big tech earnings, that possibility that there could be that shift or rotation from the safety play or the value play back into growth plays. So watch that closely. Um, IWM um, could be a little bit tenuous here if we start to see some of those um, energy and, and financial sectors begin to pull back. But if they can continue to perform well, we certainly have more upside opportunity. Blue sky above on those charts. Let's notice that we have a little teeny tiny price support right through here. If we were to fail, that's where I'd want to be watching. And notice that a failure here would also break that um, uptrend. So watch that closely if that were to occur. Let's take a look at um, our VIX. Now our VIX <coughs> remains a little bit perplexing, but the good news last week is that we had enough bullish action, we saw that fear starting to drop off. And this little uptrend, we're kind of holding right in there and that teeny little uptrend kind of holding in there um, as we go along. And so far, we have not <clears throat> had any major problem in um, that VIX rising up a lot. But having said that, we still continue to hold above a 20 handle in the market. <clears throat> That means that we have that potential of fear really cropping up quick should something falter. We're going to want to watch that pretty closely um, and just realize that if we take a look at our moving averages on this chart, we're hanging right in there around that 50-day moving average. Notice that 50-day moving average is declining pretty sharply. That is a good sign, 
but our price really isn't dropping all of that much here in the VIX. So watch that closely. If we were to spike up, it could come really, really fast. And this would just be the perfect environment for that storm to occur, kind of that perfect storm. If we got some earnings reports driving a little bit of fear or something along those lines, it could spike really quickly. So stay on your toes here in the market. And if we take a look at um, T2101, T2101 continues to concern me here just a little bit in that our market breadth continues in this um, rather disappointing decline. And as you can see, we had some pretty strong um, pullback here um, the last few days. And what that's indicating to me is that although we were rallying in some sectors of the market, some areas of the market, the majority of the market was still resting or pulling back. So we're not getting that big bullish move that you'd like to see where we get a lot of support for that bullish action. So that makes this a little bit tenuous as we head into earnings, that possibility that if that light switch flips, we could move pretty quickly to the downside. Now, hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully we get enough energy in these earnings reports to continue to lift us up. But uh, just be careful here. Um, we're going to have to stay on our toes. And then if we take a look at T2122, this is the four-week new high, new low ratio. And if we take a look at that, we, uh, we continue to remain rather elevated. Now, we did see a little bit of selling on Friday in here, even though the NASDAQ stretched up to new highs. We saw a pullback here. And again, this really supports that idea that more stocks were in a resting consolidation or in pullback than were actually moving up, kind of like what we saw in the market breadth. So watch the that closely, realizing that we've been elevated up here for a very long time, um, one of the longer times that I've seen. And keep an eye on that. This is what would, would not be a surprise to me if all of a sudden we get that shot of volatility that takes us down. So just make sure you're focused, flexible, prepared, have a plan in case that market does reverse. And keep in mind with all of these earnings and um, economic data coming our way this week, we could get those overnight reversals and uh, making it very challenging where we could be completely bullish one uh, in, into the afternoon, into the close of the day, and then completely reverse and be bearish or vice versa. So make sure you are prepared for that and have a plan to protect yourself and your capital. Let's take a look at our economic calendar this week. And our economic calendar is going to be rather busy. Um, we have a very light day today, not much of anything going on here, but some bond auctions and things going on. Um, notice we have Case Schiller. Case Schiller on Tuesday and Consumer Confidence on Tuesday. We'll want to keep an eye on those. And then we really start to ramp up into data. We have durable goods. That's a big market moving report. Petroleum status. And keep in mind, we've got an FOMC this week where we're going to get that FOMC announcement, uh, the Fed Chair's press conference. Obviously, that can move us around dramatically. We have GDP, international trading good, jobless claims coming out on Thursday with um, home, home sales tied in there as well. And then you can see Friday is just kind of a barrage of data uh, coming our way on Friday. So we've got a lot of data as we head in through the end of the week. And that is only going to add to the pressure to a massive week of earnings reports. Um, there's so many, I can't really um, go over them all, but we have just huge numbers um, going into earnings. And remember, a lot of these earnings are going to be the big techs like um, Microsoft. Microsoft will be reporting tomorrow, and we're going to see um, 
Apple report. And we're going to hit a lot of these big techs that have that potential to really move the market dramatically. So make sure you're staying on your toes and, and paying attention to those companies that are set to report. Watch that pretty closely. So today on that earnings calendar, a few notables that I pulled out. And one of the things I want to remind you guys of is if you want to see the full list of earnings and there are going to be so many um, coming up that I won't be able to talk about them all. Make sure you click that link right below the uh, title of the video, and that will take you back to the blog. And you can get a list of those notables from the blog report that I write every morning. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up. Um, um, or um, on those earnings reports today. And let's take a look at AGNC. Oops, can't type this morning. AGNC will be reporting this morning. We'll wanna keep an eye on that, uh, Real Estate Investment Trust. Keep an eye on that, that could um, uh, move things around here a little bit. Very, very bullish chart. And you can see we've popped up this morning and pulling back, putting kind of a shooting star pattern in on this pre-market candle so watch that closely uh, bro bro will be reporting today um, keep an eye on that this has that potential of really breaking out to the upside notice that we have an upside move here so we've got this nice little wedge pattern in this chart and that possibility that could pop on through with a good earnings report keep an eye on that um, we've got cr cr keep an eye on cr this morning nice little consolidation pattern in here gives us that potential that if we can get that bullish report uh, following that trend to the upside um, we have els on the list looks like they have blown earnings right out of the market here wow a uh, big bullish move here as you can see popping up strongly here on ELS looks like we're going to come up here test this price resistance in the chart um, let's take a look at KMB Kimberly Clark reporting today looks like they're perking up this morning um, notice that the, we've got a downtrend break here in this chart so if we can hold this downtrend break up here we may actually start that upside move wait for that next higher low for a possible upside trend. And STLD is the only other one that I put on the list as notables today. Although there are quite a few stocks other than these that we'll be reporting. Look at this beautiful upside trend, upside channel, um, everything going well here in STLD. Let's keep an eye on that and see if that can push on higher after its earnings report. So with that, everyone, let's take a look at some stocks that are setting up for today. But before we do that, if you guys could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you feel like the video was helpful or worthy and helped you with your setup for the day, please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. It helps uh, the channel to continue to grow. And I just wanna say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. You guys are awesome. I truly, truly appreciate it. And as the channel continues to grow and we reach more and more people, um, please keep in mind, I do try Try to answer as many and all of the comments that I can, but please keep in mind um, it's getting kind of difficult to answer every single one. So um, I do read every single one, but just note that um, it's going to be more and more difficult as the channel continues to grow to answer all of the comments. But I'll do my best because every single one of them are very, very important to me. Let's take a look at some stock setting up. Now, please keep in mind that. When, we, when I talk about a stock in these videos, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence on these charts and make sure they are kind of the charts that fit your trading plan, fit your risk tolerance before you make a trade. Never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade analysis. Um, do your own due diligence. So let's take a look at a couple stocks, a couple stocks that I've been paying attention to. Take a look at this Solo. Um, Solo, you know, the electric car manufacturing has just been um, crazy bullish this year. And as you can see, moving up strongly here, holding some price support. We're in a nice little price pattern here in this chart. 
So I've actually placed an alert right in here and it's triggered that alert and trying to move higher. Let's keep a close eye on that. Um, Solo is one of those that could move pretty dramatically if it decides to move and it's looking pretty good here overall. Take a look at Allstate. Now Allstate has been setting up in a pattern now, albeit Allstate has um, a, some resistance here that it's trying to deal with in the chart, but a beautiful little upside trend. We're resting here over toward the um, this trend and we're looking for some kind of a bullish setup here. So watch for that opportunity that that could push on through and maybe pop through that um, out there. And then we have that um, room to maybe move on up and test all time highs here in Allstate. Keep an eye on that. Um, I've been keeping an eye on NIO as well. NIO popping up here last week, moving on higher. Again, electric car manufacturing, um, very, very strong holding above this price support and consolidating that move is what I like about that chart. Now it's going just a little bit ahead of its trend. So, and although we may have sharpened the upside of that trend, just kind of keep an eye on this, that possibility that this may still have to work its way over to this little bit longer term trend, but watch it. It's looking very, very strong. Take a look at Johnson and Johnson, J and J coming out with their new vaccine, um, looking for approval and stuff on this new vaccine. It's a one dose vaccine, which makes it very, very attractive to a lot of the healthcare officials out there. And you can see we've popped up here in that chart. Don't be surprised if this has to rest or pull back a little bit more, but keep an eye on that. J&J &J may have some more upside potential. And then we got to take a look at a lot of these retailers. Retail has been setting up in an interesting pattern here. Um, they've held up very, very strong. Take a look at Kohl's breaking through resistance, holding in a nice little consolidating pattern. Now, clearly we have some resistance here that we have to deal with in the chart, but holding up nicely. And there's just a lot of these right now. Abercrombie breaking through resistance, trying to deal with some um, highs out here, um, but holding in a very bullish pattern, consolidating over to trend. We want to keep an eye on that. Take a look at Fang. Fang, very, very strong, pushing up into a resistance level in the chart. We're trying to consolidate that move and hold up. I would want to watch that for that next upside opportunity here in Fang. URI, same pattern. Um, United Rentals, this is one of those um, stocks that kind of do well. You want to keep an eye on them because they're kind of a benchmark for the whole market. If folks are renting tools, uh, companies are renting tools, um, we've got a pretty substantial um, show that things are being built and growing. So watch that in here as we continue. This is a rather choppy consolidation zone, but keep an eye on that to see if that can push on through. STZ also setting up beautiful upside pattern here. Just need a little bit of bullish energy to push that one through. Last but not least, NKLA. This is another auto manufacturer um, setting in here, just consolidating in this move. Watch that closely uh, for that opportunity that could perk on out and poke up. So a lot of things going on here in the market, a lot of good bullish patterns, but unfortunately our futures are showing a little bit of back and forth. So be really, really careful today. Um, we've got a mixed bag this morning. Anything is possible as we push through these earnings. So be on your toes. Everyone take care. Have a fantastic day. I want to wish you great success in your trading. We'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Take care, everyone.